Switzerland is known for being one of the most expensive countries in the world, but how much does it really cost to live here? Today we would like to share with you the cost of living for a normal person in this country. And we are excluding Louis Vuitton, Gucci <laughs> and Prada. Exactly. <laughs> The first point that we would like to start with is the biggest expense normally everybody of us experiences, which is housing. In Switzerland and especially Zurich, the salaries are quite high and therefore also, which just makes sense, the price of renting is also very high. So we have to differentiate between two points, either you're a student or you're not a student. If you're a student, the universities here in Zurich offer specific houses or housing to you, which are like either a room in a shared flat or your own apartment. And with this said, the cost of this um, apartment or room in a shared flat can range from 700 to 1600, depending on how big it is and the location it also has for sure. But what if you are not a student? If you aren't a student, you don't have this offer because these houses are really specifically reserved just for students. And people who are not students have to go on the real market, <laughs> as we had to do. If you are on the real market, you can expect to pay for a quite small apartment for yourself around well, starting 1200 and then you can go up we were for example looking once at the apartment which was like one room maybe 16 square meters with a kitchen and a bathroom like pretty small and it was directly next to the main road super loud and really not well located and still 1300 so that was like kind of like the minimum which is there and another point is we went to this other flat and it was like in early con also not in zurich it was 1200 and it was like, I don't know, like 10 or 12 square meters maybe because Claudia and I went and we were looking at the room and the room was so small that we were like, hmm, Claudia, I don't know if we can fit the bed inside here or maybe we can just fit the bed inside here and then the room is already like full, full just with one bed and the kitchen was in the same room. Like, yeah, yeah it was really small and it was 1,200. So if you're on the market, you can expect to spend 1,200 starting and then you can go up to I don't know, 10k if you want, like yeah. super nice flat, but let's say normal flat would be maybe around 1,800 to 2,500. So for example, one of the websites that we use in order to do apartment hunting was actually Flatfox. And yeah, now we are going to show you how the interface looks like. And for example, here you can select the map and yeah, let's say that you are kind of in Zurich center and a little bit in the outskirts of the city. So, <laughs> for example, we can see that an apartment with four rooms and a half, it's already like 4,500. Um, which is like there it's, in the industry quartier. Yeah, which is so not the know. nicest place, let's it, say. A uh, flat already in the city center could wow. be like 3,240 with only one room. Like only one room. <laughs> I mean, the views but, are great. Yeah, but very expensive. But very expensive, just yeah. One room. As we were saying before, if you are living in a shared flat, maybe you would pay around 1,200. I mean, 1,000 I think is maybe starting and then you can go up to 2,000. If you're expecting maybe to buy a flat here in Zurich, like just be aware that it's quite hard even for locals to buy a flat. And usually like the numbers of the price are around 1 million francs um, for even like a normal house. Even our house is like 1 million, valued in 1 million, which is quite crazy because this is not a villa or anything like this, you know, it's just like a small apartment with two rooms. And if you want to see actually the tour of our apartment, you can watch it here. So as you can see, as we have uh, talked about in the beginning is that when you search for a room in a shared flat, you will spend around 1,000 to 2,000, depending on location and size of your room and how many roommates you actually want to have. And if you share, look for an apartment for yourself, which for two rooms or more, you will spend, as you can see, as we showed also, again, depending on the d location and so on, um, around 2,000 or more, like 2,500 or also 1,800 is possible, but I would say 1,800 is maybe minimum you would have to uh, spend. If you enjoy watching this video so far, please consider subscribing and give us a like. <laughs> and let's go on with the next point. The second point we would like to talk with you about is the price of food. Actually, when we came here, we got quite surprised about how expensive some simple things can get, such as milk, eggs, and bread. For example, we can take a look 
to another big supermarket here in Switzerland called Migros. So for example, let's first take a look to the price of eggs. Actually, if you come here to Migros, which is, as I said, one of the biggest supermarkets in Switzerland, um, for example, if you buy imported eggs, um, you will get like 15 pieces for 4,3 francs, which is quite good. But then if you move to the eggs made here in Switzerland, the price goes considerably higher. Like, for example, here, six pieces of eggs that are also bio, they are 4,7 francs. Mm. For six eggs, like, that's, that's enough, yeah. quite a price. Quite a price, I think so too. Yeah, but I think also Swiss really value that the products are made here locally and therefore they are also willing to pay more. Yes, exactly. Supporting the local economy also. If we move on to bread, I mean, the price will truly depend on the type of bread that you want, right? But at least a bread, no matter what kind of style you choose, they will be minimum two francs. Yeah. 250. The next point that we would like to talk about is milk, like a very basic product. I mean, basically everybody of us consumes. It's like you buy this two liter can, four times two liters, and then you pay per liter one 0.8 francs, which is like a very good price uh, also compared to other European countries, like not mm -hmm. expensive. And I think this is also because the Swiss uh, are subsidizing uh, their dairy and their like local um, um, milk and cheese uh, production so they can keep the prices uh, rarely or fairly uh, low. As a Spanish person I truly love vegetables and fruits. For example here a piece of avocado 150. Yeah. Bananas 275. Okay. Two kilos of orange 295. Well it's okay, no? Yeah. That's also okay, I think. But actually, like, a fun fact, for example, when my mother came here to visit us, <laughs> like, we were in the supermarket and, I don't know, there was, like, maybe an apple. And she was like, oh, the prices of apples are quite good. Like, uh, I don't know, like, 150 for one kilo. And I was like, no, ma'am, 150 is for one apple, not the whole kilo. Yeah. We are vegetarians, but still we have to talk about meat because there's a lot of people who consume meat and meat is normally also, like, uh, um, the product people buy and they, okay, they are very cost um, sensitive towards that product. As we can see here, like maybe oh, 500 gram of mines meat cost 1070, so per kilo 21. I think that's expensive. I don't know exactly, but I think that's expensive compared to Germany, if I remember correctly. Mm -hmm. I haven't bought meat for a long time. But I think, and also what I've heard from other people is that meat is very expensive. If you're a meat eater and you can compare these to the prices in your own country, country um, I'm pretty sure that you will say that this is like uh, high Quite price. high. Yeah. yeah. But we never buy meat, so we don't know 100%. Um, so in total, we can say that if you live in Zurich and in Switzerland, you might spend for your food per month from 400 to maybe 1000 francs. And that heavily depends on what you buy. As you have seen, we have there like very different like prices for the eggs, for example. They were like it's a big range. So also your spending can have a big range from I would say minimum you spend 400 per franc per person, and then you can go up to 1,000 if you want to buy more organic stuff, if you buy more meat, um, and so on. Yeah, and it also depends on what kind of supermarket you like to uh -huh, go. You know. Like for example, you have here in Switzerland like Migros and Coop, which I kind of the high standard of supermarket or you have more like Ali and Lidl which are considered or seen here like not super great supermarkets but actually like if you are from Germany or from Spain Lidl is a really good brand as well the only thing that I see that changes more is kind of the experience that you have in the supermarket like Migros is maybe more nicely decorated and Lidl is like I don't want to go to the supermarket <laughs> now but yeah price wise it makes a complete whole difference. Makes a big difference, yeah. So the third point we would like to talk about is something which is mandatory in Switzerland, which is the health insurance. And this health insurance does not come through your employer, which is maybe the case in other countries, no. Here you have to take the health insurance by yourself and there are several companies who like offer health insurance for you. And it's called Grundversicherung. So you have to take the basic insurance, which, uh, yeah, you have to get it. and. 
um, it's uh, always the same. Doesn't matter which like provider of health insurance you take, they all have kind of the same service they provide, but still they have different prices. And therefore, there exists this website called Comparis. Unfortunately, during the creation of this video, and also during the whole week of the creation of this video, we have tried several days during the week, this website was not available. But luckily, there are also other websites which are basically doing the same thing as Comparis. And one which a website which I really enjoy is called Moneyland. So I'm just placing this here in English that everybody can understand also. Here you can see also the health insurance and then you have to say for example what is the case. In my case I'm already insured in Switzerland. Let's say I'm already insured. Where do I live? This is just like classic Zürich, Center Zürich. I do not live in 8001 but let's just take this for this video. My current insurance policy, I could place this but let's leave this open for now to just see how is it going and preferred insurance models yeah so here you could like decide what you want like telemed or like having like a family doctor or just a standard model and yeah i just leave all for now because if you also leave all for now selected then it will give you the cheapest option then you can say year of birth you could say for example 1997 or 1998 2000, <clears throat> 1990, and something we will now see when we see the, the age, um, uh, that it actually differs based on the age you have. And um, yeah, deductible is like in Switzerland with the health insurance, you have to have like um, a deductible, and you can see here, this is also called franchise. And this franchise means that until this amount of money, you have to pay out of your own pocket. So if I'm going to go to the doctor and I'm going to get a treatment which cost me 1000 bucks, then I'm going to have to pay 1000 bucks by myself and nothing is covered by the health insurance. Just if my treatment would cover uh, cost um, something like 6000 bucks, then um, I have to pay 2500 myself out of my own pocket and the rest of the 3500 bucks to come to this 6000 bucks is paid by the health insurance. So normally most of the people in Switzerland are taking um, high deductibles. I think 50% of all people who are health insured um, have normally this 2,500 because this comes with the cheapest option. And if you don't go often to the doctor, this also makes sense for you. If you go very often to the doctor, you might want to go with something like 300 or I think you can even go with the optimal deductible, which is like, um, like really low, no cost. For example, this is also possible for you. Um, yeah, so but let's go with the 2500 which is like the most classic which most people do and accident coverage as I have talked about before like normally this like um, through your employer as you can see accident insurance from your employer and so we don't need this so this is like classic case so let's see how this is going with 1990 and yeah the living in Zurich and yeah no accidental coverage because you're in, insured through your employer. Here you can see like from top down like sorted by cost cheapest option is 287.10 per month which is uh, pretty pretty good a uh, good price I would say then we have Assurer. Assurer is known in Switzerland to be like one of the cheaper insurances but also not so high quality as you can see also here through the ratings it has like three and a half stars one thing here to note is that we are talking about the um, Grundversicherung, which is like the basic insurance. So this means that all of these insurances are offering basically the same thing because the basic insurance is um, for every kind of um, insurance um, provider the same. So you don't get something really different even if you take a different health insurance. So they don't differ, differ too much um, when it comes to the basic insurance. Therefore, it makes sense when you just want to take the really simple basic insurance to just go with also one of the cheaper providers. The fourth point that we would like to talk about is like spending on clothes, right? Everybody of us is buying from time to time some clothes. And in this regard, we can say that, for example, once Claudia and I went into the city and we thought like maybe we should buy some winter jackets and we were looking at them and we saw like a specific coat in Zara and Claudia said oh this is like I don't remember it was like 400 or 300 in there yeah Just it was like in Spain 150 and here like 350 and I was like wow that's crazy oh wow <laughs> yeah that's really crazy I didn't know yeah. it was such a big difference mm -hmm. but 
Yeah, what we want to say is that there's kind of the same product and they just said it more expensive here. So, and therefore a lot of people, I mean, we know some people, we have not gone yet, but a lot of people go to Konstanz, which is like a city in Germany, just at the border of Switzerland. And so you get the German price and a lot of people just take a train there one hour, mm -hmm. buy like all the clothes they need and then they come back. Yeah. Um, we haven't done it yet, but what I have done is that when I, for example, visited my family in Germany, I also got like some stuff uh, in Germany because why not if I'm already there kind of just makes sense but I have to say there are also some like a lot of secondhand shops around Zürich and um, like uh, nice shops where you can get like secondhand uh, stuff so that's a very nice thing about Zürich next point number five is leisure if you enjoy going out with your friends and maybe having a party every now and then for example you can expect that about a beer in a normal bar will cost you around 7 francs and if you want to really enjoy restaurants in the city they will start by for example let's say you like pizza I love pizza so <laughs> pizzas are around starting from 20 francs let's say 20 to 35 I yeah think. and if you want for example to just go to a disco many of them really require you to buy a ticket and this will start from 15 until i don't know depending on how luxurious is the disco right so yeah if you want to really enjoy your weekends out and go into restaurants and bars and cafes be aware of those prices yeah i think when you go to a restaurant as claudia said you pay 20 to 35 bucks for the pizza and then you get a drink and maybe like an entry so you can expect per person for the restaurant 50 bucks mm -hmm. and you can expect for a beer around six to ten bucks and for a cocktail around 15 to 25 bucks yeah for us like we really like when we go out we mainly go to cafes for example and yeah let's say a normal cappuccino will be also like 650 um six yeah yeah and if you if you love to really have brunch uh, on Sundays they will cost also like 20 25 I would say so what we want to say here is like look imagine you go once per week to a restaurant they spend you spend 50 bucks and you go uh, once per week maybe out to a bar and let's say this is another like 20 bucks so in total per month you get like 50 times 4 which is 200 plus let's say 100 um, for drinks cocktails and mm -hmm. other smaller things so 300 per person spending on leisure but you always can spend more money on leisure if you want right this is <laughs> just the basic we have yeah. um, taken so you can spend also millions on leisure <laughs> <laughs> if you want to buy the most expensive bottle of wine in the <laughs> restaurant so in conclusion we can say that this is a big range of like how much you can spend and we have tried to summarize again mm -hmm. the points we have talked about as accurate as we can here in this sheet so as we have talked about in the beginning uh, cost of living for your room or your apartment can be from 700 to 2500 depending on what you actually uh, are looking for your health insurance um, is around 300 and maybe more if you want to spend more then this is also possible and then you have like this personal liability insurance you could get that if you want or not it will be 30 bucks per month then you will have to have spend money on internet right everybody needs internet or you maybe have it to your um, employer which can be very nice then you have no spending on the internet contract so 0 to 120 energy costs around 40 per month and public transport will cost you 0 to 100 depending on how much you use it and if you have a bike or not for example we try to use our bike as much as we can because we like also to travel in an eco-friendly way Moreover, when we come then to the point of food, we saw that you can spend around 400 to 1000 per month on food and you can spend, expect to spend around 0 to 250 depending on how much clothes you like to buy <laughs> on clothes. And also on that you have like some personal hygiene, uh, waste disposal and so on, which will be like 30 bucks per month. And then on top of that, leisure, okay, 0 to 500 we have said, if you don't go out at all, for sure you have no spendings. But if you'd like to go out and you go regularly, we would say like 500 bucks per month. And then you might have some provisions for the dentist or other things, zero to 200. And this leads in the end then to a total of 1,000 to uh, 1,500 to 5,070 um, bucks um, you spend or you can expect to spend uh, for the cost of living in Zurich, Switzerland. 
Yeah, of course, like your cost of living will depend, of course, on what kind of a standard you want to have in your life, right? Like if you are a person that every weekend goes out to a restaurant or to that party and disco, your expenses will be higher than those that maybe have a more minimalist and frugal life. So it truly really depends also on kind of what what's your lifestyle, right? Like, but at least you can spend like you can expect to spend 1500 per month when living here in Switzerland. Yeah, that's like the minimum we would say. Usually it is to say that the median wage of Zurich is 82,727 Swiss francs per year, which leads you to around 5,500 Swiss francs per month. And as we have seen in our calculation, even if you spend like a lot, which is 5,070, you might still have like a small amount of money over um, to, to save. So definitely possible to, for you to save some money also when living in Zürich and yeah, living a high standard of life. Thank you very much for watching this video. We hope you find it useful. And if you are truly interested in maybe getting to know more facts about Switzerland, let us know down below in the comments and we will be happy to create more content for you. And this said, we hope to see you next week. See you. Bye.